Well, so well we got the young arms. arms of the other night. I know. And, you know, I know. Yeah. Well, it, he's he's an emotional guy, yeah. and I'm sure he didn't sleep very well the night before. <laughs> you know, he's known for that. So you just you, you just wonder, but uh, you know, you hope that things continue to move around, move along with those guys. But with Longoria and Crawford, Crawford and Upton playing well, just great yeah. stuff. Um, let's move on to college football. This weekend, uh, yeah. your guys, Florida yeah. State, playing Wake. Yep. The you got Deacons. You got a you got a or any type of feel about how that's going to go? Well. Um, you know, the Demon Deacons are a very well-coached team. There's mm -hmm. no question. They, you know, over the years, they are a very well-coached team. You know, fundamentally, they do all the mm -hmm. right things. And they got certainly a lot of smart kids that you go to Wake Forest. Yeah, you're going to Wake. And some great athletes. Um, you know, the last couple of years, it was a little down. Of course, th they have been a thorn in FSU side yes. recently. They've really put in a hurting on us and yep. really embarrassed us several times. Right now, um, you know, I, I, this is probably more emotion, but... but you know, FSU is, is we're finding our young players, too. Right. And uh, I wasn't really surprised that we lost to Oklahoma. I was surprised we got handled that bad. I mean, yeah. you know, we got a good old butt whipping like that. Yeah, that's but, getting but, beats but one. But I like your chance. We got a lot of speed, yeah. and we're at home, and, um, and, and, and the guys are responding right. to a Jimbo. Right. Right, you got you got the Gators playing playing Kentucky, and and the thing that Urban said after the last game was, "Hey, can we beat Kentucky? Forget can we beat anybody else? You know, we're they're playing in the swamp, they're playing Kentucky. I, I can they be consistent? That's a question right now. Is can they be consistent? I I, I would be hard pressed to um, to pull against. I mean, against the yeah, Gators. Well, you know, the Gators like saying, the they're swamp, at home, yeah. they're in the swamp, yeah. and they got really some great athletes again. They're just trying to fine tune some things. Yeah, I mean and they'll it, find it. And Brant and Brantley looks like the real thing as a quarterback, yeah. so we'll just we'll see Good how that kid. works out. Oh, Good absolutely. Knows daddy very well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And his and his, uh, his uh, uncle Scott. Oh, very Scott. Good yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Good family. Let, let's see here. Uh, we were talking NFL football. We go back to things that are really exciting for me right now. Bucks are two and zero. Mm -hmm. Chiefs are two and zero. Bears are two and zero. Green Bay's two and zero. Well, I like the Green Bay. Yeah, the Green Bay thing. I right? got a couple teams that I can root for. Okay, okay there you go. So you know. Yeah. Now here's the flip side of that: the Vikings are 0 and 2. The mm. Cowboys are 0 and 2. Uh, some teams that people had a lot of expectations for. Uh, know, I wonder if far, you know, some point, you know, there's a, and you see it. Um, I'm one of those. You know, if the guy wants to play, he can compete, then he should be able to play and compete. Right. And all that stuff. But there's also a point. You know, I mean, he's 40 years old. Right. And you know, he had an unbelievable season. And, uh, you know, some people might say, you know what, maybe I'm going out on that because yeah. I had some Well, record, then they go and pick him up setting. from Mississippi and bring him back? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, it, it's part of that um, adrenaline because yeah. I don't think he's – unless you've played in front of 60, 70, 80,000 people on national TV in some big games, it's intoxicating. I mean, it truly sure. is. And, and for him to – It's hard to wake away it, from it. Right. And yeah. you say, if, if sure. you feel like you can still compete – and I hope he does come back because, you know, mm -hmm. he's been a, a great quarterback. And uh, But let me tell you, there's a lot of upset Packer fans. He could have gone anywhere else but to go to your, one of your arch rivalries, Minnesota, oh, I know. the same. And play yeah, two times a year, and they talk about coming into Lambeau every year. That's a big thing. That's right. Um, well, heck, you talk about big games. Sunday night, the Manning Bowl, number yeah. two, oh. and Peyton handed it to his brother Ooh. again. Oh. And yeah. they looked really sharp. Really I mean, good. If you had any questions about how Manning looked in, against the Texans, I, yeah. they'd erase that. I didn't have any questions anymore. They answered the bill. Yeah, they were there, they and they the really bill. did it. So, 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 okay, they're the real thing. We don't have to worry about nope. them. I've got the biggest controversy, well, non-controversy now, because Michael Vick is now the starting quarterback in Philly. I saw that, yeah. I, uh, I was waiting for that announcement, thinking, when's he going to do this? Because it's time. You know, he's kind of handled a little strangely, though. Well, yeah, he said. Just what a couple of days ago he, he mentioned he the other was just coming, but yeah. he's my guy. Yeah. But what are you going to say? Guy. I mean, Michael Vick is playing unbelievable, and he wins. He's a great athlete. And he's an incredible athlete. Yeah. You see him. You see him scrambling. You know, oh, he runs a. They yeah. say it's a four-two. I don't see how that's possible. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. So we're we're just going to, as I look at that and I think, okay, these guys are watching Mike Vick. You've got to start him. The team's looking at you going, we can win with this guy right yep. now. Yep. We want to win right now. We don't yep. want to wait and build. You know, we've had we've had this issue fans where... Fans don't want to wait. No, fans don't want to wait. Listen, Philly the, fans. Hey, the way I like it, yeah, especially Philly fans, with the, the, with the money mm -hmm. that fans spend yep. to attend games, there yep. is no five-year plan. No, 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 no there can't be. It's now. 
That's right. Anybody wants to weigh on this, uh, call the studio, 813-254-7820. Or you can uh, drop me a line at sportsoundoff at AOL.com. Uh, let's see, we were talking about the Gators already and about mm -hmm. Brantley. Now, you mentioned that you uh, have a little tie there. Absolutely. Do you think he's going to be as good as, let's say, Chris Leak was or Tim Tebow, as successful well, as those guys? Remember, you're only as good as also the players around you. He's got Jeff Dennis. All right. So he's got, and, and <laughs> yes, know? he is. I love that speed. I oh, know, my gosh. You know, yes. I was fast in my day, but, but not like that. Um, again, fundamentally, this kid is, uh, has everything to be great. All right. You know, it, it's all about the preparation, right. the head, if he keeps it on straight. I know his daddy and his, you know, his dad played, you know, John Brantley played at Florida, played baseball, football. Mm -hmm. So he should be able to mentor him and school him. Right. And, and uh, I think he'll be a fine quarterback. Yeah, if they find consistency, good. it's going to be a great thing. Yeah, yeah don't forget, yeah. you're playing in the SEC too. Right. All right. And, you, and it, it, to try to compare him, I think John's completely different than Leak. You know, he's right. not a runner. No, you know, he's, not. he's not a runner. And no, he, no. Like Tebow, he's not that. No, no, but, no, no. He's a pocket you know, guy. He's and a I, pocket and I, guy. I love pocket he's guy. He's a pocket guy. I love it. Yeah, I do too. You know, drop back. Do a read. Let's see the ball down the field. You. That, Thank that, you. Let that the running time. backs run. Exactly, exactly. Now, I want to talk about some West Coast football. Okay. Team, what I think is the best team that nobody sees play because on the West Coast, the Oregon Ducks. Yep. Great football team. They, are they can handed, score points. They, they're, it's like watching some. A point a minute or something yeah, like something that? Something like that. They're minute. unbelievable, yeah. and nobody sees them because on the West Coast. Yeah. Well, know. it's that Pac-10. Yeah, pack 10 yeah. Thing, it's, like it's that, that issue. I mean, unless you're at USC, nobody's watching. Well, you know, it, in, in the South, you know, football's king. It's a religion right. here. It's true. Uh, you know, and, and uh, we, we play some great football, in the, you know, talking about the Big Ten. Right. Some great football, uh, very passionate fans, and that in the ACC. And, you know, it's kind of, yeah, 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 you know, we don't. But, but you look, look at the last five or six years, where have the national champions come from? Well, they've all come from the SEC. Thank you. That was my the, case. Of the last five, of the last ten national champions, basketball and mm -hmm. football, the last five years, seven mm -hmm. have come from the SEC. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's this is the place where people want to be. And yep. Alabama right now is the guys on the top of the hill. So it's uh, you know uh, it, it's going to be fun to watch. I want to uh, do this. We're uh, getting close to the end of the half hour. I want to thank you for being here. It's been and, a pleasure. Uh, thank, a lot of fun. Thank John for for, call, for his call. I want to thank our viewers. Uh, for, for their attendance and, and being with us. And, and remember, we're continuing this conversation. You know, feel free to, to, to call us. Uh, feel free to send emails. If you have comments or suggestions for guests that you'd like to see, if you want to ring, ring in on any of the, of the things that we've talked about on the air, feel free to do that. I want to take this time to thank uh, Team Alita. We're sponsored in part by Team Alita, the IT professionals. Uh, they help us to uh, make sure that our uh, computers are running, and we want to thank them for all that type of thing. We would also like to thank uh, Zudar's Deli, who is Ooh. one of our underwriters, and uh, we'd like to thank uh, Eric and his crew there. Good sandwiches. Uh, yeah, great sandwiches. Good eats. Been great there. stuff. You know, yeah. and uh, if you want a pastrami, that's the place to go. <laughs> but uh, I want to thank you, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody else here in the game. Yes. Have a good one, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, awesome. The Rays are the Rays. Oh. Are the Rays gonna? Uh, they have to. They have to, they have to tonight. Oh yeah, I want the Rays to win. You know, they, they, they'll pull one out. They'll put. They'll. Pull.